we're crazy about Korean barbecue, and we're going to show you how simple it is to prep everything for a stress-free, fun experience for your friends and family with ingredients from your local grocery store. Korean barbecue is a communal experience. It's all about getting your friends and family around the table and eating and cooking together. And you get to be the guest of your party instead of doing all the cooking yourself. Everyone gets to be the chef. You can customize your own meal and make it just how you like it. And the best part is, it's absolutely delicious. Now, the meat is really the star of the show. The good news is that the best cuts of meat for Korean barbecue also tend to be the least expensive. Things like skirt steak and sirloin are full of flavor and thin enough to grill quickly. We're going to start by prepping the meat. You'll cut the meat into bite-sized pieces, then sprinkle it with Korean barbecue rub. This will give the meat a nice smoky and slightly spicy flavor, and it keeps it from sticking to the grill. Even if you've never grilled before, you can do this. It's so easy. Because the meat is so thin, you don't have to worry about whether it's rare or well done or anything in between. It's going to be tender and easy to eat. Once you start cooking, it's only going to take about two to three minutes per side. For the side dishes, which in Korean is called banchan, you can make or buy as much as you'd like. You'll want to grab a few ingredients from the Asian and produce sections of your grocery store. I always pick up some kimchi. You can find this in the produce section. I also like to get a bottle of gojujang. It comes in either a bottle or a tub. It's a spicy chili sauce that's a staple of Korean cooking. I use it just like hot sauce on steak and chicken, rice and vegetables. I also like to make a few homemade side dishes like potato salad, pickled radish and kale salad. A really quick way to make Korean potato salad is to turn the potatoes into noodles with the veggie spiralizer. The noodles are so thin that the potatoes are literally done cooking in the time it takes to boil water. Any potatoes that I've spiralized already, I like to keep in cold water so that they don't turn brown. Next, I'll take the spiralized potatoes and put them in a pot with cold water. Then I'll bring the whole thing up to a boil. By the time the water starts boiling, the potatoes are cooked. Now that the water's come up to a boil, I'm just gonna strain it and rinse it under cold water. Add a spiralized cucumber, mayonnaise, vinegar, honey, salt, and chopped green onions. Then just stir it to combine it. Now you have a fast, fresh side dish. Another side dish is quick pickled radishes. It's a fast way to add a ton of flavor. We're going to use daikon radish, which is a mild root vegetable that's common in Korean cooking. If you can't find one, you can use a few small turnips. I've already peeled this one and cut it into thirds. Now I'm gonna slice it with our simple slicer on the number one setting. Next, combine vinegar, water, sugar, and salt, and put it in the microwave for two minutes. Then, pour it over the sliced radishes. My favorite side dish is our kale salad because it's such a cool, no-cook recipe. You just put pressed garlic into the kale leaves, along with soy sauce, vinegar, oil, and sesame seeds into a large bowl. And you use your hands to wring the mixture until the kale turns dark and green and soft. I know it sounds strange to give your salad a little massage, but it actually helps break down the kale so that it's less bitter and easier to eat. It's almost like you're cooking it. Now that your meat is prepped and your side dishes are ready, it's time to start the party. Set up your indoor-outdoor portable grill for electric cooking, arrange all of your side dishes around it, and start grilling. You can find all the recipes, tools, and tips on our website so you can have your own Korean barbecue experience at home.